Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here, and today I'm going to do another look of the week, and this will be episode 13, so, yeah. Um, and to make it more easier for me, and maybe also for you, depending, um, I've first created already a post on my website uh, where I pretty much assembled all the things I'm going to show you right here in this video. And uh, I'm going to put them from here, uh, from now on, I'm going to put them as well on my form, so I can go over them more easy, uh, easier. Um, so first off, I'll start with the wallpapers. I've got two pretty awesome wallpapers. The first off, I have The Revenge by Mart Beemans and Ivan Fusi. I'm totally not sure if I pronounced that properly. But anyway, it's a pretty awesome wallpaper. Um, it's for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, iMac, and as you can see right here, I have it on my screen at the moment. I think it's totally awesome. It was made for Wallpaper Art, the website. Um, so yeah. I'll leave all the links in the description as usual. Uh, next up we have this Kent of Night by Linda Loska. So this is the wallpaper. It looks pretty awesome. There's a little watermark but it doesn't bother too much but I think it was a really nice wallpaper. Uh, this Kent of Night or the Scent of Night by Linda Loska. I think it's cold. So that's it for that one. So that's it for the two wallpapers. I only got two wallpapers. These are the two that really like impressed me but for the next things icons I've got quite a few so first off I have Artcore icons number three so I think I already mentioned the previous pack of Artcore but I think uh, it's pretty awesome what they have and uh, this is their new pack so um, if you go on their website you can uh, download the pack right here it's a pretty awesome pack and uh, they got a few different ones they got uh, obviously one and two and three so as you can see they have number two number three and number one. If you want to apply icons by the way, uh, Google or I'll just leave a link in the description with um, Candy Bar which is an application and you can apply all the icons and talks and stuff like that so be sure to check that out. So that's it for uh, Artcore Icons by Artcore. Uh, I think they're German, not sure. I don't know the exact name. And next up I have uh, Skype Icons by Giant Lucas 75 um, Giant Luca, yeah, I think that is the name. And uh, they're pretty awesome. They're six icons and they're like status icons, or you can use them as status icons or just use them for your dock. Next up, I have Wahele or Wahele by Simio Graphics. So these are only in 32 by 32 pixels, so they're not really that high definition or anything, but they look really nice to have little icons uh, to put in your finder in the sidebar. It looks pretty nice. Uh, that's what I use them for at least, and uh, looks pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, that's it for that. Uh, next up, um, we have some terminal icons. Uh, they're by Malagu, Malagu, I think it is. Stylish terminal icons. So that's uh, just a icon replacement for the terminal on your Mac. And if you don't know what that is, just Google. Uh, I mean, use Spotlight just for terminal, and you'll see you already have it on your Mac. So uh, yep, um, that's it for that. And then for the last icons. Obviously, FaceTime new application to the Mac, so also new icons. Uh, the FaceTime icons also by Giant Lucas 25. So be sure, uh, be sure to check it out. Check his Deviant Page art or Deviant Page out, pretty much, because uh, he makes pretty cool things. So you can just click on here. I'll leave a, a link in the description of this. I also will leave a link in the description of each individual one. But uh, I just make this page so you can see you have a little preview image and you can see what you're gonna download and stuff. Uh, so I all made that um, in one page. Might be more handy. Um, so lastly, I have a mod which is iTunes 10.0.1 UI overhaul or whatever it's called. Um, what it does is, well, you pretty much go back to the original iTunes 8 and 9 style. So you get uh, the sidebar with colored icons. You get spotlights or um, spotlights, sorry, traffic lights like uh, horizontal again and um, some few other changing scroll bars and stuff like that and uh, like the player and stuff so it all goes back to uh, iTunes 9 and although it still remains iTunes 10 though so the features of iTunes 10 still are there but it's a pretty cool mod it's really easy to install it comes with a DMG and you just follow the instructions on the on the image downloadable image and uh, you're good to go you got your iTunes and uh, that's it for this Look of the week, it actually went pretty quickly, especially with this page. Made it look uh, like it went quicker. Quicker. Oh, by the way, the iTunes mod is by Sean R. Forgot to mention that. 
Uh, so be sure to check his out. He also have a we he also has a website, I think. Um, so yep, and he says what it all does here, um, the mod and stuff. So that's it for the look of the week episode eight thirteen. Sorry. Uh, be sure to check out the next episode or the previous episode as well. Uh, and I'll thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later.